Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're doing a backup camera on this 2007 Toyota Camry. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to install this backup camera to the license plate area and integrate it to an existing aftermarket radio. Let's get started. Now the camera that we're going with is this Natika uh, license plate mountable camera, the WD779. We'll link this down in the description in case you want to pick one up yourself. Now as we get this open here, what this kit comes with is a long harness here. Now what this will do is both power the camera as well as carry that video signal from the camera all the way up to the aftermarket radio. Also here we have our camera itself. Now it comes with this mount or you can put on the optional license plate bracket, which we will do in our application. It also comes with panel tools, some tape, as well as some zip ties and other installation accessories. So what we're going to do is convert this camera to a license plate mountable one. We're going to unravel this and we're going to show you how we're going to make our connections. Okay, so we need to take this panel off because we got to get wiring through this panel to allow us to mount our camera. Now, unfortunately, this license plate is totally rusted in with this stud here. So we'll figure something out here, but regardless, this guy has to come off. Now up underneath, there's going to be some 10 millimeters and clips that you have to remove in order to get that panel off. All right, so what we've done is we drilled a half inch hole and put a grommet in and then thread our wire through that grommet to the inside. Comes out here, we just need to cut our zip ties and we're gonna bundle our extra wire here. Now our reverse light is this guy here. If we look in our hatch, the trunk lid has the light there in the trunk. It makes it really convenient. And it's this upper one and this is gonna be your positive and this is our negative wire. So we have our positive negative from the camera we're gonna connect our ground to the white with a black straight, and then we're gonna connect our camera power to the red with a black or blue. It's pretty hard to tell. I think it's a blue stripe there. To make our connections, we're gonna just strip the wire back just a little bit and solder right onto that factory connection. And then we're gonna continue running our wire along. Now what we've done is actually got some uh, quarter inch split loom and tubed everything all the way down following the factory wiring to about that point. Then we need to go through the rear deck area, um, working our way to the radio cavity. So at this time, we need to start wiring up our connections. Okay, so we uh, got everything soldered up here. Sorry for the lighting, but uh, that's all done and taped up, zip tied. Zip tied all our extra wiring there. And there's our loops in, this, in the event we have to cut them um, to you know, modify the image whatsoever. They're nice and accessible right there. Everything's all zip tied down here. Now at this point, we can put this all back together and continue rooting our wire forward. All right, so now we need to feed this wire through the back firewall. And the factory hole is right there, and I put a hanger through, fished it through, and I reached my hand back in there and pulled it out. Now, we can go ahead, pull our wire through. So with that now fed, we just tucked it down the seam here, and now we're just tucking it up underneath this panel, running it forward. Okay, so we continue tucking our wire underneath the panel, working our way forward. We came up this panel, and we went up and over, now there's places to zip tie it to, up and under steering column, and into the center console. Now if you wanna see how we took apart this center console, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we actually go through that in very great detail. 
when we installed the aftermarket radio. Now for the backup camera video wire, we went ahead and fished it up into the dash here. We have it ready to go. We plugged it into our camera input of our radio. And that little red wire that hangs off, that's going to be the trigger wire. You saw the other end is connected to the reverse light positive and negative wire. So that's going to trigger this guy to go into reverse when the car is backing up. So that connects into the purple white wire of our radio. So at this point that's done. We just need to get our radio in. <sighs> Here's our backup camera. Nice clean and clear picture out of reverse. Perfect. Now that's about it for this backup camera install. Now obviously you didn't see us pull out the center console or do the radio install. However, we have that all recorded in our other video. So check that video on out. It's where we did our radio doubled in install to this factory system. We'll have a link down in the description as well as a card up above. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe and post great content on the channel all the time. And we will see you in the next video.